Well, I was just putting my rubbish out, as you do. And I've just found a four leaf clover. Look at that, just by the bin. I'm gonna have good luck today. back to our channel. I have just finished emptying my boot and putting basically everything into the back seat because I'm going on a little errand this morning. I'm going to pick up some Grisselina hedging and I'm collecting that from a lady off uh, Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to go and do that. I'll probably have a little wander with Arthur while I'm out and about because Lee's got a few days off this week so I want to get this done collect them today and then I don't have to interfere with us doing nice stuff next week because it's got the week off and we're going to go down south probably down to Falmouth and a few nice places down there which I'm really looking forward to could do with just a little bit of a break and just to go and do nothing and just be a tourist for a bit which yeah re I really do need to just go and that we, we both do to be honest and uh, so yeah gonna do that and um, then tidy up my car probably get it ready for a few days out. I've put my maps in the car. I've got uh, Falmouth and Land's End. So we've got the maps. I love a map. I don't know about you, but people don't seem to look at maps anymore, but I do like to just open out a map and have a good look. It's not always good looking at your phone all the time, is it? Looking at a screen, it's just not great, but got my maps. Right, let's go and get this hedge in. Right, so just got back. Popped Arthur in the house so he can have a drink, something to eat. But this is the Grisselina and it looks a lot healthier than what I thought it was going to look, to be honest, because you know what it's like on market, Facebook Marketplace. You never know what you're going to get, do you? But it looks healthy. It's quite tall. It's between one and a half feet and two feet. And it only cost three pounds a pot. Even though when I did get there, she did try to charge me four pounds a pot. But... That's another story. Luckily, I did a screenshot, so she didn't really have a leg to stand on. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to one side for a bit because um, I don't want to put it in today. I've got a lot of few bits and bobs to sort out today as we've got a few days out this week, as I said before. But yeah, so I'm going to get it out of the car and then hopefully by the end of the week, I can get it in. Back to the car. 
I don't think so. just come back from a lovely morning on the beach and I've been wanting to take my sketch pad and pencils down to the beach for ages probably ever since that we moved here but I did that this morning and I did this lovely little drawing and I'm quite proud of it actually I haven't done any drawing in years I mean when I was younger I did get a GCSE in art and design and I haven't really done much since you know you have children and you just have other things to do and it's one of those things that you just don't have time to do because it just takes so much of your time. But since moving down here, I've just wanted to get my sketch pad out, get my paints out and just sit and draw. So I'm really happy that this morning I made a bit of time and did a nice sketch. All right, well, I've got myself a new toy. Um, my old lawnmower, finally given up the ghost. Um, the handles are rusted off. They cleaning and servicing takes too long and everything else is just a pain um and it's getting old and it needs replacing so i've got some steel stuff hedge trimmer and stuff like that so i thought i'd go cordless cuts out all the servicing and everything else they're much more reliable so let's unpack this and see what i've got so obviously got myself a lawnmower um we've got some it's accessories, obviously the toolbox, the, the grass, it's nice. Nice handle. Very nice. I'm very much looking forward to cutting the grass for this today. Just want to check, make sure my battery fits in it. Beautiful. Ah, oh, never been so excited to cut the lawn in my life. <laughs> so this is our apple tree that we planted a couple of years ago got lots of apples but it has got a lot of rust on the leaves as you can see just there look not really sure what to do about that I'm gonna to have to look that up investigate if I can help it but it is a lovely tree and that is a lovely apple there it looks like it's ripe enough to pick Yummy. Look at the look at some apples. Look. They're tasty. Looks a nice piece of kit there, Lee. Yes. How long did that take you to put together? Not long. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Four hours later. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, it folds down, so nice, neat. Oh, nifty. I like that. Yes. So, once the battery's in, it's all ready to go. There's a weird fuse thing. It's like a locking mechanism, so that's in, it doesn't work. 
so okay. it's like a it's like a fuse box thing. Cool. So, so yeah That's nice. there's a button on the side here to release it <coughs> ah, hold on <laughs> hold on let's follow the instructions push the button push that ah there we go He's happy now. pumpkin plants are growing really really well at the minute i've got one pumpkin that is just growing stupendously it is huge i have got some others forming on the other plants so i'm happy with those and i have popped some straw underneath them just so they don't rot but the leaves have got mildew on them and i did look it up and i've been spraying them with a mixture of baking soda and water and it's to do with the humidity when it's really warm in the day and then humid in the evening. So I've been spraying both sides of the plant and if the leaves are quite bad, I've just been taking them off and just disposing them into the green waste that we have. But yeah, you, you shouldn't put this onto the compost heap. followed our channel for a little while you might remember that a few months ago our wall actually collapsed now the reason it collapsed because it wasn't actually built properly um, when it was first built with these walls obviously they're supporting a lot of weight so the best thing to do is when you're rebuilding a stone wall with a lot of weight is to lean it in a little bit and this supports the weight now this stone wall was built vertically so obviously over a period of time it just weakens and the soil pushes the wall out and eventually it collapsed which is what happened here now we did clear a little bit out just to tidy it up a bit but Lee pulled his back out which wasn't ideal he did remove some of the stones and we did sort of place them at the side neatly but then it, we did have to leave it, obviously, because Lee hurt his back. But one of the reasons we did leave it was because we were deciding what we actually wanted to do. Now, Lee came up with a really good idea of instead of just rebuilding the wall vertically, we would turn it in, actually into some steps. So when you come out the front door, you could walk up the steps and onto the vegetable patch, which I thought was an absolutely amazing idea. Really good idea by Lee. So... That is what we've decided to go with. Now, today, obviously, we've had a few days off. We've had a few days out, but we've decided to have a day at home today. Lee is going to start digging this area out from the top. And what we're going to do with the soil, because obviously we need somewhere to put all this soil, because you can tell it's going to there's going to be a lot coming out here. We thought we'd kill two birds with one stone and we would put this soil to the edge of our property where we have our grisolina hedging. Now, when I originally put this in, I only put it in at like floor level, which wasn't really a good idea at the time. 
it needed to be raised. So what we're going to do is dig up the gasolina, which hasn't actually rooted, hasn't actually done that well. It is alive, but it's, it's not growing as well as it should. So we're going to raise it up with the soil. And then with the grisselina plants that I have bought a few days ago from Facebook Marketplace, we are going to place those in between just to bulk it out a bit, a little bit, just to raise the plants up. And hopefully they will establish now with some decent soil and actually start growing. So that is the plan for today. The steps are obviously not going to get finished today. That will be a part two, a part three, maybe even a part four. But if we get the plants in and we get some soil out, we'll be happy. My God, what we found here is 2,000 year old Roman pottery. We could find gold here, Roman gold. We'll be rich. All our dreams will be answered. <laughs> Mr. Muscles? I was hoping for two muscles, <laughs> mine and my wife's. Right, well that's this side in. It certainly looks a lot better than it did before. And now we've raised up the soil. Should have a better chance. A bit of decent soil in there to start rooting. Fingers crossed.
Right, so all I have to do now is just to give them a good drink, water them in well, and then hopefully they'll have a good chance of growing big and bushy and giving us a little bit of privacy. But thank you for spending this week with us. It has been such a lovely week and we've been to quite a few places, but it's good because we've also managed to get a bit of work done. Uh, the steps are coming on. Lee has worked so hard digging out all that mud because I couldn't have done that. I'd have done two and then said, no, that's enough. So yeah, he's done absolutely amazing. But we will keep you posted on the step progress. We do have the other side of the hedging to do. So I do need a bit more soil to put that in so I can raise it. So we will be doing that really soon. But thank you so much for spending this week with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. But we will see you very soon. Bye.